Hello YouTube. Thought I'd do a quick video here. I had some people in my last video I posted, I had some people email me saying, hey, can we get a closer look at that duplexer? So I'm going to do a video here, a lot closer up of this duplexer. And this is the duplexer that they use inside the Redivus RT97 uh, GMRS 2A radio repeater. And this is the model number of it. I'll also post that in the, hope you can read that. This is a 10 watt duplexer. There's the model number of it. And obviously I have it apart, as you can see here. Um, just kind of refresh how this is. The tuning, it goes through up on top. This is the bracket that you, that you would mount it to. So this goes together like this. And then you would put it together like this. So that's how this goes. Just kind of refresh everyone's memory. Um, I will take, I do have a caliper. We'll measure. Now I did notice though that I, th I thought at first, until I really looked at it closer, this, these are not solid wire. These coils down here are not solid wire. It's tubing with wire ran through it. So I'm going to show you that up close. But for now, I want to get a, th these wires on these coils are solid. They look to be solid. I will get a close up of that. But I want to get the measurements. People asked, what is the me measurements? I do have a digital caliper here. And we will recalibrate this down to zero. And then I'm going to measure the, let me turn this this way. We're going to measure how the roundness of this. And I got it in millimeters. It's 0.94. And if you want it in inches, it is approximately 0 0.035. And that way you can figure out what gauge of wire that is. If you do the math, yeah, point, well, I got 0.90 millimeters. Okay, so that's how thick this wire is. And I'm going to show you a close-up of this. And I'm going to show you a close-up also of why I think this is tubing with wire fished in it. So I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to readjust the, the cameras, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I got this now. So what I'm going to do here is let me get my little pointer. I'm going to show you this coil or tubing that's like a, a coil form up close to show you why I think Obviously, this is hollow and not a solid gauge wire. So, let me go ahead and go to the microscope here. And we're going to slide this over. And hopefully, if all goes well, we'll be able to show you this. Right there. Now, let's see if I can prop this up. This right there, you can tell, you can see the wire insulation. Let me get a pointer here. So you can see that right there. You can see that insulation wire. There's the tubing right there. So they obviously fished the wire through the tubing before they coiled it. So that kind of explains how that's done. Now, I don't know on the other duplex if it was the same way, but you can see that. If you look at this, this is the coil. See the coil right there I was talking about? There's the coil. So that's what they're doing there. Now what, what size wire is in there, it's really hard to say. It doesn't look to be very, let's see if we can kind of get a better view. I don't know if we can get a better view or not. It don't, it don't look to be very big gauge wire, but very, very hard to tell 
Let's see if we can get this better here. Now let's see if I can get a better view. There it is. There, that's a much better view. That's not bad right there. So there you have it. And that solders right onto the connector. So, yeah, that's not a real, I don't think it's a real heavy gauge inside there. I think that goes to the connector here. Yeah, looks like it does go to the connector. So, there you have it. So, hopefully that kind of explains what that is. Let's get this back into focus here. Right there. So, that's how they do that. So, let's put this other camera back. Okay. Now, so there, I hope this kind of helps, you know, kind of give you a little idea. I know a few people asked to do a close-up of it, and I thought I'd do that now while it's still apart. So uh, there you have it. There's a close-up of the stock duplexer that's inside the Redivis RT97 GMRS 2A rated repeater. It's technically only rated for 10 watts, but like I said in my other videos, I know a person that runs much more than that into it, and it's been working fine, you know. Um, but we, we'll do some more testing. Maybe we'll we'll get the thermal camera out. Maybe we'll run this, and maybe we'll do some more testing and see if we can what happens or how hot this thing gets. So, anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below, and please subscribe. Thank you, and have a good day.